All right, boys, let's jump right into it again. This is how Israel Desanya fans spar. <laughs> Any Izzy fans want to spar, though? That's fucked. Leon hovering that hand. Oh, <laughs> that's how you know you're a wife, though. That's like some Habib shit. Poor time. Okay, I'm gonna drop Gaunt and make this a chaotic war. Damn, I got the shit kicked out of me. Tai Tui Voss's beer belly did not help him as much as it, he would have liked. Oh no. <laughs> He's indented. His fucking skull's indented. GSP is still the goat. GSP is still the goat though. Doesn't matter what you guys say now. Even Gon was surprised. <laughs> How do you even get that? Oh, I think that was taken from his post-fight interview, actually, when he was when he just said "woo" randomly when Bisping was interviewing him. He hit you in the second round. You Woo! went down. Connor has not had to provide anti-doping tests in the previous 12 months. Actually, holy shit! Connor McGregor on the sauce confirmed, and Usman's natural. What the fuck kind of world are we living in? What the fuck? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, this was a good one. <laughs> the fact that this nerd is avoiding that shit like that is hilarious. I mean, he probably is not allowed to be stoned while working if he works for USADA. So it's kind of a stupid thing for me to say. The King Lizard with his MMA. Dude, he looked fucking good for a guy that's one of the richest people in the world. Look at him. Obviously, it's not a full-on fight, but the fact that he's even doing this is so sick. He's he's fucking training. For the people that are probably like talking shit in the comments, you probably whoop your ass. You probably don't do fuck all. Look at him arm barring. Look at that transition to a triangle. Like he's learning, dude. He does still look like a fucking lizard though. Jesus. This is basically Alex Pereira's attempt of uh, talking shit. And let me let me know what you guys think about this. His son hits himself over the head. And pretends to be knocked out right beside Izzy. I don't know about you guys, but if I did this, I'd catch a beating. I'd punt the little the little dweeb out of the ring if he did that to me after I got knocked out. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Stupid ass kid. It's a kid. Relax. Whatever. First fight of Lucy Paris and this guy's going in on a raw baguette. The, what a gangster. I love that. Dude, the European fans are so much better than the North American fans. They're the best fans in the world. At least put some butter on that shit, dog. This was funny. Matt Brown's response to the lizard uh, training MMA. Is this for real? Someone as wealthy as him and a total nerd? This is solid. For Matt the Immortal Brown to say that about you, I'll take that all day. <laughs> And it was funny, I did some digging and I'm like, if this girl doesn't have an OnlyFans, like what, what's the point of this? Like, well, at least make some money off of it. Like you don't get a 50K bonus for showing your nipples. So wild, man. Bare knuckle boxing. I think this shit is like, first of all, it's way too much for me, but more of that, <laughs> definitely won't buy the pay per view. I'll stream that shit. Tate hit him so hard he became a baguette. I think he looks like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Marvin Vittori in his post-fight interview after losing to Robert Whitaker. I won all three rounds, didn't lose that shit. These judges are corrupt and France is a dump. Viva Italy. I don't know if he actually said this, but if I wasn't Italian, I'd hate Marvin Vittori. He's he's an interesting dude. He's an interesting dude from the Goonies. Guys on Twitter, nah, she's mid as fuck. Same guys if they had the chance. Yeah, this was like, I showed my mom this and she's like, you're allowed to do that? I'm like, I mean, kind of just happens when you get front kicked in the face. Magometo for a Is that just his big toe? Ew. Ew. And he was bleeding after, obviously, in his mouth. And that's from his fucking big toenail. That's disgusting. Ooh, that, that. I can't even imagine what that feels like. An actual picture of Tai Tui Voss's ribcage after his fight with Cyril gone. <sighs> that was a tough one. That was a tough one. UFC 279 poster celebrating the life of, uh, he could pull it off guys. He has better cardio. I'll say Pro way more experience. Hamzat's never gone five rounds. So, you know, dude, guys, you never know. You never know. Bookmark this. You never know. He also could get murked in 30 seconds too. Don't, don't get it twisted guys. Usman on Rogan laughing about his memes being a good sport. Did you see the photo of me interviewing you in the middle of the Damn, thing? I almost posted that yesterday. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I mean, say whatever you want about Usman. People are talking shit about the way he dresses and his cocky attitude. He's just confident. He's the best fighter in the world. What, how do you want this guy to act? Like, the, the way he's handling himself after that brutal knockout loss, class act. That's the way you want to act. You don't want to be Deontay Wilder making all these stupid excuses saying you got poisoned by Molly Water. Like, come on, man. Let's, let's relax. But the one thing I will say about that knockout is that it produced easily some of the funniest memes I've ever seen in my life. And if you want to check out the best ones, click this video right here and watch them for yourself. Take care. I love you all.